Hey guys, how are we all? Welcome to My Way Tarot. This is going to be a general weekly love reading for the sign of Scorpio. This can resonate with your sun, moon, rising or Venus sign. So it could be reading for yourself or for your love interest, the one that's on your mind. So please use your own discernment and flip the roles to however this best resonates with your situation. But please do not make the story fit. So if the reading resonates or parts of the message resonate, then that's great. If it doesn't resonate, then it's simply not your message. So please take what you feel fits and leave the rest, guys. So starting off the reading today with the Light Sears Tarot, and then we'll use the Radiant right away to clarify the Romance Angels, and then close off the reading with the Soulmates in Separation Unspoken Love Messages. So let's get into this reading. Angels of Love and Light, can we please have clear and concise messages? For Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising and Venus. What can you get for them please for this week in relation to love? Thank you. Scorpio. Okay, first card out. The Lovers in Reverse. Six of Swords. Eight of Cups. Wow. Guys. Three of Wands. The Empress, Page of Swords, The World, and The Six of Pentacles. Whew. The Seven of Pentacles, bottom of the deck. There we are, look at that, Death and Rebirth. There's your energy, Scorpio. King of Wands, The High Priestess, The Two of Pentacles, The Sun in Reverse, Knight of Wands in Reverse, Eight of Wands in Reverse, Page of Wands in Reverse, Four of Swords. Okay, interesting. You could be dealing with a Leo here with that Sun card, potentially a Cancer, maybe even a fellow Scorpio. We do have Gemini on the table, we do have Taurus, we do have Libra, and we do have Aquarius, Leo, Taurus and Scorpio with that World card. So you have these placements strongly in your chart or maybe your person does. But you could potentially be dealing with a fellow water sign, an earth sign, a fire sign or an air sign because pretty much everyone is here. But this is pretty, pretty amazing, guys. Um, wow. Well, first of all, we have six with the lovers, six with the six of swords and also the six of pentacles. Six, six, six. So you could be seeing those numbers or your person is. Um, it's nothing to kind of worry about. Um, it's just a sense of trying to get yourself grounded and, and kind of focus more on the emotional um, and spiritual aspects of life rather than necessarily the material aspects. So don't get kind of, um, you know, panicky or anything like that about that number. Lots of people have that kind of sense of stigma towards it. But um, if you just look it up online, um, the angel number 666, it will be able to tell you exactly what's going on with that, okay? Um, the other thing I'm picking up as well that you could be seeing is the three of wands. So we have the three. We have the three for the empress. And we also have um, 21, which is two and one, which is also a three. So three, three, three as well. You could be seeing those numbers too, or your person is. I feel like this person is dealing with a karmic partner or a karmic ex here or a third party situation that has been really quite challenging and they have physically checked out of it and they've emotionally checked out of it already as well. Like they've closed it off or they nearly have closed it off and they're ready for the brand new beginning. Like this is, look at this, you know, this person is in their boat, they're traveling. This person is walking away from what's not serving them. They're going into the unknown, so they're traveling. This person is looking out onto the horizon. They're traveling. The world card, all to do with travel as well. This person, you know, is most likely traveling towards you or they're traveling away from an old situation. They're moving or relocating. Um, you could live at a considerate distance from this person. So there may be a sense of world travel here, like you could live in separate countries um, or you just have a very long distance connection from one, other, one another. I feel like this person feels at an emotional distance from you and a physical distance and obviously the ge geographical distance as well. Um, so I feel predominantly this person 
is absolutely turning their back on this old situation that they've been dealing with. They're not interested in that anymore. I feel like they've had a very he heavy investment in relation to this, um, but it's taken everything out of them to leave what they need to. And I feel like they're ready for a new beginning because this is so evidently clear to me of what's going on with your love interest in a third party or a karmic partner in a karmic ex. And this is what's going on with you and your person. Like, I just feel this incredibly strongly, guys. Your love interest is hoping that you are still around once this person leaves whoever or whatever they need to leave in the past and that you're kind of, in a sense, waiting in the wings. Now, not necessarily kind of, you know, looking out of the window, waiting for this person to show up or to call you or anything like that. I feel like you're actively focusing on yourself working on whatever you need to bring in balance for your life right now and like just knowing in the sense that this person is on their way to you to have a solid investment with you at a later date this person is probably leaving a legal contract behind they're severing ties from a legal contract could be in relation to a home a property they may be going through a breakup a separation or a divorce from someone um, I'm getting family court for some reason because there are children here with that page of swords so they could be getting something t um, legally written up to do with children and obviously the empress is you know pregnant um, not to say that this karmic partner or the karmic ex is potentially pregnant I mean they could be but I'm feeling more on the the basis that um, your love interest is wanting to rebirth a new beginning with you they want this equal give and take partnership with you and most likely they didn't receive that in this other connection with this other person. Your love interest is very interested in you and them having this passionate brand new beginning. They see you as the future mother or father of their children if you are able to have children. Or your person's able to have children. Obviously take it how it resonates as I'm reading energy here rather than gender or sex. Um... So I'm feeling this person genuinely sees you as their future spouse as well, okay? The other thing I'm getting is that potentially there may have been a disconnect between you and this person in the past. They may have um, gone cold, gone silent. They may have even ghosted you. Um, maybe they couldn't deal with the intensity of the connection between you. So they may have lied to themselves in a sense of... Um, that the connection between you wasn't that deep like there was a sense of superficialness to do with it but i feel like that's not the case at all and i feel like this person's now recognizing that that is certainly not the case and i feel like this person actually genuinely feels really bad for bringing an imbalance in your life this person's hoping that you're going to be patient with them as to what you know they close out whatever they need to and then make their way back to you they're going to let you know that their heart is no longer in it in this other situation that they've been dealing with. They want to start a family, I'm getting. They want a new beginning. You and this person could be quite different in a sense of um, culture, maybe even religions. Different types of, um, I'm getting ethnic backgrounds. I feel like there's something very different about the two of you, but yet you, you just both seem to gel very well together. This person wants to bring in stability with your connection, for sure. And they want you to have open communication. I'm also getting that if this person um, was dealing with a karmic partner or a karmic ex, there was a sense of unrequited love there. And they've grown apart from this person. And... You know they've been looking for a way out of it for a very long time and they're realizing that they want to actually genuinely invest in a proper solid connection with you they want to let you know that whoever they've been dealing with um that is that's gone they're not rebirthing that that's not coming back to life again they have genuinely left on every kind of level possible here they are so ready for something new um and they're ready to let go of the emotional baggage of the past this person is transforming. They are becoming the leader of their own life here with that King of Wands and they're following their intuition here. They're just rebalancing whatever they need to right now, their priorities. And I feel like you're on the top of 
you know, the top of their list, as it were, like you are the one that they want to prioritize in their life. With that High Priestess and the Empress, I'm feeling very strong Divine Feminine energy here, potentially from you. Um, so you could be a Divine Feminine dealing with your Divine Counterpart here, High Level Soulmate, Twin Flame, however this resonates. I feel like this person has been at a huge loss without you and they miss you terribly. Like you have been, you know, out of their life for quite some time. This person could have had a tendency to be a bit of a player or a bit flaky in the past or they had a reputation or a way about them where they may have had more casual connections in the past and potentially tried to juggle you and someone else. If they weren't dealing with a long-term karmic partner or a karmic ex and then they may have just had someone like kind of on the side as it were who they were casually kind of hooking up with potentially with some sort of friends with benefits and I feel like you may have gone, do you know what, I don't want to be infer like involved with this third party, you know, love triangle-ish. So you may have put a block to this person because they were relatively childish and you needed to take time to heal and retreat yourself because you could have had your confidence knocked with this person. Um, and also if they weren't very good with their communication and they may have left you relatively confused and heartbroken and felt like you were... Um, very scattered in your energy you weren't sure what to do um, and you needed to take some time to um, separate yourself from this person in the past and pursue something brand new in your life here with the ace of, ace of wands and find out what other options there were not necessarily just in relation to love but what else that you could do for your sense your, your sense of self and invest in self-love and kind of set boundaries with this karmic partner or the karmic ex or um with this love interest of sorts so obviously I, that wanted to come through so i've obviously got cross watchers here guys okay so i feel like someone is definitely dropping something that isn't serving them anymore and they're not happy where they are and they've been confused but i feel like this per person is gaining clarity I feel like your love interest may have been relatively cold at one point and relatively distant and this could have been very hurtful, especially if they were dealing with a karmic partner or a karmic ex. I feel like this third party was trying to stir up a load of trouble, trying to put blocks in the way of your connection moving on forward because there's a sense of jealousy of knowing that you're sitting here in this empress energy and potentially the high priestess as well. You know, even the king of wands, like you could be taking charge of your own life, following your own intuition. You know, you have... <coughs> God, my throat just went then. Whew. Whew. So I feel like um, you have a very strong sense of judgment here. But I feel like this, this love interest at one point or even... This love interest at one point may have made you feel like you couldn't trust yourself. Made you feel like you weren't enough in some sort of way. They most likely wanted to have you as some sort of mistress on the side. Or whatever the male equivalent is. I'm not sure what that is. But obviously, as I said already, take what you feel resonates and leave the rest in relation to gender or sex here, guys, okay? But let's get into this reading. So we're going to look into the Radiant Rider Weight and see what we can get for the Lovers, the Empress and the World for Scorpio. Please, thank you. Your love interest really wants to take care to cultivate and nurture the connection between the two of you. And potentially, if they, if they went back to a karmic partner or a karmic ex or they just decided to stay in this other situation, um, I'm feeling that they've been looking back on the connection with you and looking back on this other relationship with this person and making comparisons. I feel like your person's been heavily reflecting on this other old connection with this karmic partner, the karmic ex, and also yours as well, your connection. See, the cards are literally wanting to just jump all over the place and get all scattered. So maybe this person isn't really sure what they're doing or they weren't sure what they were doing in the past. But they're having to take the time to isolate themselves to kind of settle their nerves. I'm getting here with this hermit. You could be dealing with a Virgo. 
This person could also be going through a spiritual awakening or the dark night of the soul. They could be um, leveling up in relation to their emotional maturity and spirituality. So therefore they're not going to be as materialistic or superficial as they once were or not so emotionally closed off. And they're actually going to be more open and compassionate. So when they come forward towards you, they're actually going to be on more on an equal level with you here. Um, so give you this brand new offer. Look at that with the Ace of Pentacles. Wow, I'm getting North Node for some reason. So your person could have a Virgo North Node or maybe you do. Um, if that's not necessarily the case, then I'm feeling um, that this person sees you and them as they're kind of, they'd be following in their, um, the right steps, they'd be following in the right steps in relation to that. It's interesting because obviously I was just shuffling just randomly for the sake of shuffling and we saw the world in reverse. This person feels really quite flat without you, but they've had difficulties moving on from this old connection with this other person for a long time. But I feel like they are very much getting round to doing it or they've already done it. So they're in that energy because it's showing up here on the table and they're on their way to you with the Knight of Wands very passionately um, towards you. But they've been very sad here. Look at that with the Empress in reverse and the Five of Cups because they invested with someone who they thought was their empress when actually you are their empress and they're sad it's had a lot taken out of them because potentially this karmic partner the karmic ex was very immature here with the page of wands in reverse maybe they were even unfaithful i'm getting why is the lovers here please um why is the lovers here yeah, definitely that page of wands again, wanting to show again up in uh, reverse with the hangman in reverse. There was definitely a sense of the blame game, victim mentality, being a bit of a martyr, keeping someone confused here with the seven of cups. But I feel like your person's had this enlightenment now with the hangman. You could be dealing with Pisces about that this person's purposely been doing something to hold on to them look at that as i say that with the four of pentacles yeah sense of manipulation and lies and deceit here with the queen of swords in reverse they've been doing something to keep their material you know world going like because they haven't wanted to be free they want they haven't wanted to be independent they haven't wanted to be single they haven't wanted to give up what they've had in this other connection with this person so um, it's really needed to take a lot of like kind of karmic lessons for your person to kind of get through and know and understand the difference between I'm getting lust and love. So why is the lovers here, please, for Scorpio? Thank you. The star. Wow. You could be dealing with an Aquarius. Yeah, this person's absolutely going to make their way to you with that page of cups to apologize and say that, you know, that they've been dealing with a karmic partner or a karmic ex here someone who was really quite challenging to deal with and that they rejected your cup here with the four of cups they want to apologize for not taking your cup or not seeing the worth of the cup that you were giving to them in the past because you were most likely or are this empress energy this person's dream come true would be to go through this breakup, this separation or divorce with this karmic partner or the karmic ex and make their way to you and start off something small. Even if it's just to build up on a friendship first, on a solid foundation and then go from there. But they want to end codependency for sure. This person really feels that you and them can have a really beautiful union or reunion together. They feel very much guided to come forward towards you. Yeah, to put in work with your connection with the Eight of Pentacles and have equal give and take. We have the Six of Pentacles showing up with the Six of Pentacles. So I know that I'm talking about you here, guys. This person wants you and them to have more together. But it's difficult because I feel like your emotional needs were not met by this person because however they were in the past, but you knew and felt that there was a deeper connection between you. And this could have been really quite difficult page of the cups see there was that card just wanting to fly out like that this person wants to apologize and say to you look can we have another go i'm sorry 
Look at that with their ten of cups in reverse. They also want to let you know that they were not fulfilled where they were. They were playing happy families with this karmic partner, the karmic ex. And they, you know, realize that their true happiness with the ten of cups being upright is to be with you. That's what they want with you. And you have felt like all your cups have been spilt over because of whatever happened between your love interest and they were dealing with a karmic partner or a karmic ex. Yeah. This person's absolutely going to reach out to you here with the page of wands and it may be a little bit like out of the blue here with that knight of swords. They want to come forward towards you and tell you of a truth that's been really important. Look at that. The moon. Pisces energy. You see how there's a block here? But that looked like it wanted to kind of come out this way. So I feel like there's definitely been some sort of secret. But something's going to be revealed. You may have been under the impression of some sort of illusion that this person was happy where they were in another connection. And that's not necessarily the case. They were bored. They were frustrated. They were unhappy. Um, all they were doing was kind of fantasizing about the idea of you and them coming together. I'm getting the sense that this karmic partner or the karmic ex was very overbearing and their connection was more like on the basis of roommates rather than lovers or this kind of like mother figure or father figure. They, it, they were more like parenting your love interest rather than actually being of someone that's equal. I'm getting that for some reason. The lovers in reverse wow guys your person's going to take the mask off and tell you exactly what's been going on and that they're working so hard to get their money right so that eventually you and them can come forward together and that they can actually officially go through with this breakup separation or divorce with this karmic partner or the karmic ex what else here for scorpio yeah look at that it was all just a sense of materialism here a superficial connection this person wants to apologize for literally putting you at arm's length because they were dealing with this other person or other situation and that they were trying to kind of focus on their money and they were just overtly materialistic with this karmic partner or the karmic ex it was all about keeping up appearances it was all about you know um how good does everything look to everyone else when really they weren't genuinely fulfilled where they were they were dealing with a karmic partner or a karmic ex was incredibly jealous and envious, possessive, um, greedy. Tried to get more than their fair share in relation to this kind of breakup, separation or a divorce. I'm getting the sense of taking them to the cleaners. But that's all coming to an end here with the Wheel of Fortune. A sense of destiny and fate is coming into play here. Um, you could be dealing with another... Um, fixed sign here so a taurus aquarius scorpio or a leo or you kind of already know that the tables are turning in your relationship in your situation there has been blocks but you and them will eventually come together and have something solid but they needed to go through an ending elsewhere with this other person because there has been you know difficulties there you knew that this love interest had has to be discreet they have to be discreet. They can't make it blatantly obvious that they're on their way to you. I'm also getting as well that this karmic partner of the karmic ex was most likely stealing money from them. So they lost a lot out financially. Look at that as I say that with the two of pentacles in reverse showing up. There's definitely a sense of borrowing very heavily. Um, maybe they had financial issues. They had debts that they needed to deal with. The karmic partner, the karmic ex, was very materialistic. Um, enough was never enough. Finances may have been causing a lot of tension in the household. Potentially, the karmic partner, the karmic ex, may have had a private like account, like a, you know, I'm getting offshore for some reason or overseas. So this is pretty a big deal, guys. So maybe they had some sort of secret money that they were hiding. Wow, I'm getting with a lover offshore or something. Yeah, maybe maybe they had a secret lover and something's been revealed. Queen of Cups.
this person, your love interest, has actually found this new sense of clarity that they've needed to heal themselves and that they needed to make a choice and it was down to them to make the choice in their life to change things around if they put themselves first or they put themselves first and also their children first or their child first and kind of leave the sense of codependency. This person has realised that they don't want this karmic partner or the karmic ex. They don't want any other options either. If they're not dealing with someone long term, they don't want those other options. They just want you. Um, they see you as very loving, very nurturing, very warm, very genuine. Um, there's just so much like goodness about you. And I feel like there was a point where this person may have taken advantage of your kindness and took it as a weakness. Um, but they are no longer confused about what they want. But they now just don't have the confidence and the self-belief to be able to come forward towards you as of yet. Because they're dealing with someone else who's really trying to stir up a load of trouble. But they've definitely gained... Wow, gained? <laughs> gained clarity um, about this third party stirring up a load of trouble. Your person knows that you had the purest intentions with them the whole entire time and now they feel regretful that they put you at arm's length. But now they can't let you go here with the Four of Pentacles and they don't want to let you go because they love you here with the Ace of Cups. And they want to manifest this connection between the two of you. They want this love with you. They know that they could have this two-way love with you and it, for it to be balanced... And they want a solid commitment here with the Hierophant. You could be dealing with a Taurus or this person wants marriage. And if they've been married before, you know, them going through a divorce, it's not going to necessarily kind of um, affect their beliefs too much if they were to get remarried again. I don't feel like that would be an issue. Yeah, even if they got married and in this other connection with this other person and they didn't have the victory and the success, like there wasn't the win in that they probably would still um, want to have something more with you. It may have most likely knocked at their self-esteem, but I feel like, you know, whatever has been done onto this person by this karmic partner or the karmic ex has got nothing to do with you. So they can't just kind of project their anxieties and fears on you with how you're going to be with them. They have to kind of leave all of that in the past. They have to end it all. Look at that as I say that with the death card. Scorpio energy. So I feel like what I'm saying is, is, you know, on the right track here, guys. And there's the tower. Your person's had the epiphany, the aha moment, the realisation that, you know, um, they want to reinvigorate this connection with you. And have the new beginning with the fall. You could be dealing with an Aries. So it is coming in. The secret is being revealed to you here with the High Priestess in reverse. You will know of it. They will make themselves known to you. Slowly but surely, they're on their way and they're making plans. Okay. So why is the Empress here? Why is the Empress here, please, for um, Scorpio? One more shuffle. Okay, thank you. Five of Cups, Six of Pentacles. Yeah, your person feels sad because they feel you're the one that slipped through their fingers. And if they did hurt you, then they're full of regret and remorse and guilt and shame that they didn't have equal give and take with you. As I say that with the Death card, which is you guys, Scorpio. They feel awful for how they most likely left the connection with you or ended things with you or they went silent on you or they didn't do something right by you and you were emotionally disappointed here with the ace of cups in reverse you know that this person may have had second thoughts or you know they didn't open up with their feelings and they have left you feeling relatively insecure and vulnerable about you know what to do feeling hurt but i feel like this person is now recognizing you know, how hurt you've genuinely been from whatever happened in the past. And that's why they're keeping tabs on you and they want to end what they need to end in this other situation to make their way to you. And so that you could eventually get closure here with the Five of Pentacles in reverse. They're absolutely leaving whatever they need to because they want this pure happiness and bliss with you and they know that they can have that with you, with the Ten of Cups. 
that's the truth with the Queen of Swords. They want to come forward and speak of their truth. And they know that you are only deserving of this truth and wanting of this truth. Only wanting and deserving of this truth. What else here for the Empress, please? Wow. <laughs> Guys. Ace of Swords. Two of Cups. Four of Swords. You've done a lot of healing work. You just want the truth from this person to communicate and say that they want this love with you. And they do. With the Two of Cups. They do love you. But they need to heal from a commitment that they've had elsewhere. Which they didn't want. More Taurus energy. This person wants to break free from what they felt restricted in. They feel in a sense guided to come forward towards you. They are most likely being divinely guided to have this partnership, to have this love, to have this friendship, to have this solid relationship with you. Five of, wow, I was going to say five of pentacles, but we've already got that. But the queen of pentacles in reverse i was going to say with that five of pentacles that to me is like saying that this karmic partner the karmic ex has been now put out in the cold and the karmic partner of the karmic ex is feeling sad now because their connection is not moving forward anymore because it's stopped to a halt here because they can't continue to have what they're having with your love interest with the finances because there's definitely the breakup or the separation here there's a huge breakup with that queen and king of pentacles coming out in reverse and your person's moving on away from it here or from this situation with that three of wands energy they're ready to start anew they're retreating their energy from this person wow empress to clarify the empress are you bloody kidding me I'll be sorry, guys. I'm sorry for my, you know, <clears throat> excuse me on that. But Six of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, right? Six of Pentacles, the Empress. Six of Pentacles, the Empress. I knew it. I knew that this line was all about you. Your person wants to balance out with you because you are the real deal. You're the one that is the real deal here with the Nine of Pentacles. I'm getting that song, um, Single Ladies. Um, by Beyonce if you liked it you should have put a ring on it yeah now this person is regretting not putting a ring on it before or putting a ring on this other person's finger but now that ring is coming off and they want to put the ring on your finger obviously a brand new ring but they want to put the ring on your finger because they know that you are very happy just doing you right now and they want the marriage and the commitment I mean guys I literally just said if you like it then you should have put a ring on it and then we got the Hierophant which is the marriage card this is you, all sassy, going, well, if you liked it, you should have put a ring on it. And now they're recognising, I really should have put a ring on it. And now they want to put a ring on it. Wow. They want you and them to revive this connection. They know that your, your relationship is not ended. It's not dead. It's not gone. It needs to be revived. And it can be. And that's what this person wants to do. Yeah. They may have lied to themselves, thinking that the connection, you know, with you wasn't going to go any further. You know, because they doubted themselves that you would actually take them back or that you would have anything more with them or hear them out and balance things. But I feel like you will be. I feel like you will actually listen to what this person's got to say because you have such a warm heart. You you know, you have such a big heart. Yeah, you're going to be protective of your energy. And if this person was to come in and they're just, you know, a bit lusty, then I feel like you may be a little bit you know, you know, I know you, I'm, <laughs> that's great, I know that you're kind of happy to see me and everything, but at the same time, can we just like take our time in relation to this? Because all they want to do is be eager to tell you that they've dropped whatever they need to in the past so that you and them can move on forward together. They know that other people are very much wanting to um, go out with you, take you out, but... <laughs> You're setting boundaries with these other people that are coming in for you as well. You are. You're very much on the dating scene. Or you could be on the dating scene. Or you're about to be on the data se dating scene. You've, ha you've had a lot of heartbreak from whatever happened in the past. But I feel like you've been really working on yourself. And you're actually more open to the idea of like, 
you know, romance, you know, potentially from an admirer, could be the one from the past, or new admirers, but you've definitely got admirers, you know, um, so you're just having to use your, your kind of common sense and your discernment and following your intuition about who's potentially right for you if you were to go off onto this new track with new, with new, new in relation to love, or if you even deal with this person from the past, it's just kind of taking a step back and, um, assessing things why is the world here please three cups beautiful you're celebrating your life you're loving every single minute of it and your person misses you here with the sun in reverse leo energy i'm getting f um fomo this person has fomo fear of missing out on you because you are embracing your your best life you're living your best life right now and they see that and they want to be a part of it because they know that you've done a lot in your life. You're healing, working on you. Look at that. Ten of Pentacles. This person knows that you and them haven't seen eye to eye, but they want to be able to provide you with absolutely everything. Because they know your worth. They know who you are now. They want to bring peace to you here with the Five of um, Swords in Reverse. Sorry about that, guys. My um, my camera had um, cut out, so I'm really sorry about that, guys. So we'll just carry on with the reading here, okay? But this person absolutely wants to bring peace to you. They don't want you to have any conflict with one another. They're also going to let you know that if they have been dealing with a karmic partner or a karmic ex, it's literally been um, absolute chaos there. And they've had... Um, a lot of regrets in being in this other situation with this person and they just want it to close out they just want it to end um they've had enough yeah they've been very much up in their head here with the um eight of swords and they want to invest in the connection with you look at that seven of pentacles seven of pentacles this person wants to reunite to put the investment in you beforehand they didn't put the investment in you they put it in this other connection or situation and they ended whatever connection there was between the two of you. But now they don't want to do that. They want to revive what's going on. Revive your connection. And then end with this other personal situation. But they know that you've been very hurt here with the nine of wands. And they're just nervous to approach you. This person is unsure that you are going to um, accept them back into your life. Yeah, they haven't been able to stop thinking of you here with the Six of Swords in reverse. They're coming back to you because they want this commitment with you. But they know that they've hurt you here with the Ten of Swords. They want to let you know that whatever they've been dealing with is, is really over. I keep on wanting to say that. It is really over. Maybe you felt like you couldn't trust this person fully to let you know of whether it's over. This person wants the new beginning with you. The Ace of Pentacles. They want to bring peace to you and make a compromise or do something and they want to offer you a tangible beginning. They don't want you to feel like you are needing of anything. I don't feel like you need of anything anyway, especially if you're sitting here in double Empress energy, like you really haven't got very many issues in your life. You know, um, you're kind of working on you. But this person wants to end the toxicity that they've been dealing with in the past and they want to revive the connection because they know that you are not deserving of bringing in a load of toxicity into your life and they don't want to do that either you could be dealing with a capricorn yeah this person's leaving the chaos and the drama and they're getting the courage to come forward towards you and to say that they want this new beginning they want to actually properly invest they're just trying to be discreet about it as they go about closing this old connection with this other person because they've made their decision they've made their choice that they want to manifest you and them coming together okay what else here please for that um world card this person feels that you and them could have a really beautiful abundant life together and not necessarily to take of anything of what you've you know you've what you've done for yourself or anything like that you know i feel like genuinely this person you know, they may have been doing very well financially in the past and they've lost out on a lump sum, but I feel like they're still doing pretty well. Um, so it's not like necessarily you're going to be codependent on them or they're going to be codependent on you. I feel like, yes, they, you know, um, have lost a lot of money, but I feel like it's not to the detriment of the, pop, the, the you know, the fact that they're going to be like homeless or something. They, 
they genuinely still have things together and they're ready to start off something new or they will be because they see so much potential between you and them they're just stressed that you're not going to give them the time of day but they're hoping that you've healed enough to be able to be open and willing to have this communication or conversation with them what else here please yeah they're keeping an eye on you here with that page of swords page of swords as we said that earlier and they're moving on and getting their independence and they're leaving what doesn't serve them here with the six of cups in reverse so that they can make their way towards you because they have all this fire and passion for you here with the queen of wands they feel like you're such a go-getter you go after what you want but then you are knowing when to sit back and just receive um, and this person finds that incredibly attractive yeah, as I say that with the Queen of Wands definitely wanting to show itself again. Um, this person has missed you terribly and they know that you've been let down, potentially by them, but by other people in the past as well. And they really want to fill up your cup. Yeah, as I say, they, they know that you've been hurt. They know that you've been hurt and that there's been blocks in this communication. But they want to open up to you here with the High Priestess in reverse, Cancer's Energy. That they have just been so missing you here with the four of wands in reverse and they just feel relatively insecure they feel insecure because the sense that you may be relatively detached just enjoying your life right now um you know being away from all the drama and they just want to be in your life and they want to come out of hiding and they want to make their way to you because they've been enlightened here with the hangman Pisces energy that they feel you were never meant to have more together and they want to move on and leave you know the challenging times in the past this unwanted commitment elsewhere that they were holding on to for the sake of finances and they're realizing that they can actually genuinely be more abundant if they were to leave whatever wasn't serving them in the past because they see you as a true pair here with the king and queen of cups but they just don't want to come across as sneaky to you because of the imbalance that there was in the past. So they're hoping that you just don't see them in some sort of shaded, shady way. You know, like there's unrequited love between the two of you. I feel like this person is potentially making a mountain out of a molehill, to be honest, when it comes to you in this connection. Um, they've got a lot of fears. They definitely fear that you're going to reject them and have a new beginning elsewhere with someone else or you're just not going to be interested in love at all even though you have lots of options and you can kind of do whatever you like really um but yeah let's get into the romance angels and see what additional messages we can get for you guys so if you are enjoying this reading um scorpio then um please like share and subscribe leave us a comment and i'll get back to you on those comments guys um if you do subscribe, please hit the notification bell so you get an alert as to when I post another video for you all. If you are enjoying this reading, please hit that like button as it makes a massive difference with the channel and it really does help get the messages out there to people who may need to see them. So thank you all so very, very much. I greatly appreciate you. Also, if you did fancy supporting myself and the channel, then there is a donation link now available in the description box below. Um, so thank you so much to those who have already donated and thank you to those who are thinking of donating. I'm um, so appreciative, so thank you. Also, if you do not financially donate, then a great way to energetically donate to support myself and the channel is to like, share, subscribe and comment down below as well. So let's get into this. Ooh, straight out. Scorpio, true love. <laughs> This is a romance of a lifetime and then children, your love life is being influenced or affected by children, I'm getting. Yeah, this person absolutely wants um, children with you. I mean, with the Empress coming out here twice, especially to clarify the Empress, this person, you know, can't wait to kind of have a proper family with you or to blend families or whatever it is that you feel is, is deemed necessary for you to kind of have that family unit. I feel like that's what this person was really craving in this other situation and it just it just wasn't the right fit you know it would have looked on the outside to have been the right fit but it really wasn't 
express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture and soulmate yeah this person feels like you're a very true soulmate to them um they're going to express their love they're going to come forward towards you very passionately here um but when they feel very confident in themselves more self-assured um <laughs> they basically can't believe their luck really they can't believe their luck I'm getting a sense it's like I'm seeing a butterfly kind of flying and someone trying to kind of poach the butterfly, like try to catch it in a net. They feel like if they were to kind of get you, they have basically caught this very rare, beautiful butterfly. That's the way I'm seeing it as. Um, not that they want to capture you or, you know, but they definitely don't want you kind of to be with anyone else. But I'm getting that sense of... You know, they could be a little bit possessive of you, not in an overtly controlling kind of way, but they just definitely want to kind of, in a sense, mark their territory of what's theirs is theirs. Um, but they they definitely feel a lot for you here. Trust. The situation is calling for you to have faith and past life relationship. Yeah, just trust and know and have faith that you have a very deep connection with this person. And they're hoping that you can um, find it in your heart to forgive them and to have this new sense of trust. In your connection let go of control issues allow the situation to unfold naturally so um yeah this person may have had a particular way about them trying to control the connection between you or they were dealing with someone who was very controlling and overbearing and trying to prevent them from coming forward towards you to express their love and show you that you are their true love and for you to have trust and faith in them and knowing that this person's your true love and etc um, pay attention to the red flags, the signs are cautioning you. So they may have even thought that this karmic partner or the karmic ex was their true love and it really wasn't the tr true at all. Um, it wasn't true at all. Heart to heart conversation, honestly discuss your feelings with one another. Yeah, this person wants to have another chance with you. They're going to let you know what's been going on. For sure. I'm getting a sense of meeting up over coffee or having a, a cocktail, a few drinks. Religious factors. Your love life is being influenced by your religious upbringing, spiritual path. Now, I feel like I said that earlier, like there could be something very different between the two of you. Um, that could be also another indication as why this connection may have not like come into to play earlier because there may have been disputes to do with other family members or something along these lines. Um, I'm getting relatives kind of meddling in, as it were, you know, kind of saying their piece about what someone should be doing or shouldn't be doing. And I feel like someone stayed in a connection of sorts to kind of spare, spare someone's feelings. I feel like your person wants you and them to have another go. But other people, potentially family members or friends, may be saying to you, oh, you know, um, there's a red flag they've you know just gone through a divorce a breakup or a separation from this other person you shouldn't go there you know um you don't know the full story about what's going on in this connection with this other person so you shouldn't kind of get involved with this um yeah all sorts of things i'm getting but i feel like you're just getting signs and synchronicities in trusting and knowing that this person is coming forward towards you um, and that they're letting go of a codependent connection and that that's where they have been and that they want to reconcile with you and they want this new love, yeah. But I feel like you could have new love as well elsewhere, but I feel like predominantly this person wants you and them to feel like it is brand new love when they, they're back into your life, as it were. So let's look into the soulmates and separation unspoken love messages and see what your love interest would like to say to you or what you would like to say to them. So we, we do have cross watches here, guys. You are obviously welcome. So this could be if you've had no contact with one another, little contact, or if you're in communication, then it could be a bit sporadic here, guys. So let's get a few closing messages. This person definitely misses you. Because um, the card just come out and tried to show itself was that they they miss your kind of warm embrace. And well, we know of that because you're incredibly nurturing here with that Empress energy coming out twice. What can we get here? Wow, straight away. I kick myself for sabotaging this relationship. My life won't be the same. 
I was dishonest with you and myself and I lived one big lie. I am lost in this world without you. It gets lonely. Yeah, they view you as their whole entire world. They're making the decision to turn things around. What else here, please? Woo! Gosh, straight out. I have not given up on you, even though it may seem like it. Well, we know that, guys, don't we? My pride and ego led us astray, and I must admit that I'm longing for your touch and warm embrace when it actually came out, guys. Um, wow. Bottom of the deck, we have, if I could turn back time, I would, and do it all differently. I spend a lot of time thinking about you, wishing things were different. Hurting you hurt me even more. And a part of me died when I let you go. And you will always have a special place in my heart. Nobody else can fill. So this person really does miss you deeply. Um, and they're wanting to kind of um, do right by you. They want to change things around. But anyway, guys. Yeah, they, they recognise that they um, let their head kind of rule their heart way too much. Um, and I feel like they now want to kind of embrace this love with you. They really do. But they, they, they're doing some sort of work first but to kind of get rid of what they feel like they need to get rid of first before coming forward towards you. Because they know that your connection can't be built, you know, overnight again. It, it's got to be worked on and they're ready to do that. But they have to end what they need to end elsewhere first, most likely. So anyway, guys, that's going to be the end of the reading. I hope that there were a few messages in there that resonated, some messages, if not the whole reading. So let us know in the comments down below and I'd love to get your feedback um, and I'll eventually get back to you guys. So if you did enjoy this reading, please like, share and subscribe and leave us a comment as well. Um, and also, I hope that you have a wonderful week. Please take care of yourselves and speak to you very soon. So thank you for being here. Thank you for watching. Uh, bye now.